Alvi Negro supporters, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro, and tomorrow Botafogo plays Flamengo, a match, a valid match, an official match for the third fixture of the Brasileirão 2023. Botafogo has a chance to end the fixture at the top of the table in number one. So we will see. Uh, Flamengo is going to be a very tough match, uh, but I believe it's a completely uh, winnable match. It is not this um, game that in the past some of us would look at it a, a little bit concerned, but as of lately, the teams have gotten more closer in. I think Botafogo has a great starting 11, and Botafogo has a bench. So do I think that... Flamengo has the better squad overall, I think so. I think Flamengo has the best squad overall. But I think that this is not a match for Botafogo fans to worry about like we kind of used to worry about in the past. Um, a derby is a derby no matter where it's played. Anything can happen. But my prediction for tomorrow is a Botafogo win. So let me know in the comments. So put it down in the comments down below. What is your match prediction? And now to talk about Flamengo, I'm bringing in Owen Sullivan. Owen is an American supporter of Flamengo, and he is very active on Twitter, and he's got a page there, and he's also got a YouTube page. So check him out, support the work that he's doing in English, because at the end of the day, the more people covering the Brasileirão, the more people doing this kind of work, it is better overall for everybody. So... So here is Owen telling us a little bit more about Flamengo. Thank you, Pete, for giving me an opportunity to talk about Flamengo's recent performances ahead of the matchup against Botafogo on Sunday. If you don't know who I am, my name is Owen, and I run a YouTube and Twitter account focused on spreading my love of Flamengo in English. Now, it is no surprise that 2023 has not been the year Flamengo has hoped for, 2023 started out with Flamengo announcing that Vitor Pereira would be the new manager. There were very high expectations when he joined the club, and sadly, he did not live up to those expectations. The first warning sign was all the way back in January, where Flamengo failed to win the Supercopa do Brasil against Palmeiras. Now, that was a match that would have been nice to win, but it was a tough game to begin with, and it was understandable that Flamengo was unable to get the job done. Now, one of the biggest expectations when Vitor Pereira was brought in was to win the FIFA Club World Cup, or at the least to make it to the final and compete with Real Madrid. That did not happen. Flamengo lost their very first match to Al Hilal. They were able to win third place. However, again, the expectation was that they would be playing against Real Madrid in the final. The next big blunder was that Flamengo lost to Independiente del Valle in the Recopa Sudamericana, another game that we were expected to win. And then recently, the final straw was drawn as Vitor Pereira failed to win the Campeonato Carioca final against Fluminense. And after that match, Vitor Pereira was officially fired. Jorge Sampaoli was the replacement, and Jorge Sampaoli has been very good in his short time with the club. Flamengo did beat Coritiba in their first match of the Brazil round. They also defeated New Blensi in the Conmebol Libertadores. Now, the one loss for Sampaoli so far was against Internacional. That was a very tough match on the road. And even though Flamengo lost that match 2-1, to one, it was a match that Flamengo played pretty well in and could have easily won as well. And then most recently, Flamengo defeated Moringa in the Copa do Brasil. 8-2 to two was the final score, and Sampoli deserves a lot of credit for that victory. Pedro was the star of the show in that match where he scored four goals against Moringa. Incredible performance for Pedro. Pedro has been, in my opinion, the best player in South America in 2023. He is leading Flamengo in goals, and he's just been phenomenal. And that brings us to Sunday's matchup against Botafogo. It will be a huge testament to whether Sampoli will have a successful season or not, as 
We lost to Internacional last week, and Botafogo is a very good club. So it will be interesting to see if Sampoli can get a victory against a team as highly touted as Botafogo. We were unable to get the job done against Internacional, but we did defeat Coritiba. So there's a lot of questions that will be answered from this match. Again, I just wanted to say thank you, Pete, for giving me the opportunity to speak on your channel. I appreciate it. I am going to be streaming the game live on Facebook with English commentary. I will not have the actual game on the screen because I cannot do that. Uh, I will get a channel strike, a copyright strike, and rightly so. But I will be narrating just like this. I'm going to be watching the game right here in front of my TV and uh, narrating it for you, commentating it in English. So if you are watching the channel and you are an English-speaking supporter and you want to watch the game and understand what's going on, then come out to Glorious Botafogo which is right here, which is where you're watching it, whether on Twitter or on Facebook, uh, not on Facebook, but on Twitter or YouTube, and come check it out because um, it's going to be a great match, and hopefully it will be a match where Botafogo will win and sleep at the first position at the top of the table um, for match day number three. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe here to the channel because it really helps the work that I do here. Go check me out on Twitter because I'm there all the time. And yeah, check back often, turn the notifications on Botafogo Flamengo tomorrow, 4 p.m. Brazil time, 2 p.m. USA Central time on YouTube. I'm going to be commentating it in English. See you then.